One of the really attractive uh, elements is that it's an intellectual exercise looking at some of the PPPs that have been uh, conducted in the past and looking forward towards the amazing amount of infrastructure that Australia has to build. And to learn the lessons from the past and improve on them, and even Blind Freddy or myself, I can see the improvements that need to be made. Anything that can bring that about is good and is good for Australia. Let me take an example of uh, a recent uh, major project, which is a Victorian desalination plant. To win the project, the team realised that it was about design. It was about creating a major piece of infrastructure that was neither visible nor audible. And just to do that meant that the design of the plant and its relationship to its surroundings had to be incredibly well thought out. We, at the beginning of that project, developed a number of criteria and implementing those criteria with the design team. So all the engineers, all the landscapers, all the structural elements, all the environmental elements had to come together. Eastlink was a unique opportunity to build a road and to build a road that looks good and will look good in the future. So the urban design of the road, the introduction of public art are all elements that bring design to everyday life and a number of people obviously who use the road regularly enjoy looking at the arts. The potential is there for other roads to adopt that standard. So design in in everyone's life is an important element. One of the things SMART could do is evaluate the benefit. I know it sounds esoteric, but they could evaluate the benefit of introducing art, whether it's art by a levy in a major project or whether it's art through the um, design process. Obviously there have been a number of projects completed and there are some very valuable lessons to be learned, figures to be evaluated, etc. But figures are only one part of a very complex equation. Definitely we need to build and correct the errors of the past or the, mis the failures or the misgivings of the past and therefore we need to have a very good understanding of what went on in the past. But I don't think analysis is everything. I think there, there is numerical analysis is everything. I think there's much more to it than that. I think there are some really good opportunities to have in-depth interviews and uh, challenges to the community about whether the community felt certain infrastructure decisions or design decisions were worth doing. Look, with all the new forms of media and social interaction, I think we should provide opportunities for people to praise things that work well or that they enjoy or that they feel they have a relationship or can interact with. And for example, the, the, road, the road that I quoted before, people actually wrote in, tweeted in, texted in, saying to the head office of the road, saying they enjoyed it. And boy, you've moved something. Why did you move it? It's a question of making the public aware that the positive commentary is as valuable as the negative commentary. You have to open the doors of both. You have to open the doors of the teaching institutions and you have to open the doors of industry and have a, a really positive debate and engagement. You also have to, I think, share knowledge and that's where SMART comes in. I think the opportunity to share the knowledge that uh, industry has gained with university and academic research is a very, very valuable uh, opportunity. And I think you also have to share the people. I think people should be encouraged to switch from industry to universities and back again.